So exercising is important. We all know that as we get older, even more important. Uh, and it's not just for our bodies, but also for uh, staving off diseases like Alzheimer's. That's why Tally Goodfriend and Jonathan Goldblum are taking part in the Best Brain and Body event in support of the Jewish General. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank I you. like that you brought the, the skipping rope. We won't make you <laughs> skip quite this early in the morning. Tell us a little bit about the event. Well, um, it's in order to raise awareness and, uh, of course, funds uh, for research into Alzheimer's. And um, the event is uh, um, going to be about 25 participants that are going to be demonstrating exercise, uh, cognitive exercises, and also uh, an awareness about uh, proper diet as well. And um, the event uh, will be taking place at uh, Shara Shamaim uh, Congregation. And um, we hope many people will come and support the event. Um, it'll be entertaining and uh, for a very important and worthy cause. Absolutely. I think we're all touched a little bit by, by Alzheimer's. I mean, my grandma had it, and so every time my mom, if she forgets you know, something on the grocery list, I'm like, what can I do to help, you know? <laughs> right. why, why did you get involved? I got involved for a couple of reasons. One, because um, as Dr. Churko says, if we don't deal with this, it's going to become an epidemic. Mm -hmm. And all of us have people in our lives that have been involved, that have Alzheimer's or have memory loss. My grandmother, my uncle, currently is suffering from that. And so my goal is really just to build awareness among my friends and start building knowledge about what you can do to deal with the risk factors. And those are things like nutrition, uh, mental health, but the two factors that we're focusing on are brain exercises and physical exercise. And I look at my parents, my father was always scared of losing his memory. Mm -hmm. He did crossword puzzles like five a day. Mm -hmm. My mother has been exercising since she was about 25, 30. I can remember getting up, she was riding the stationary bike in front of the TV. But the trick is really social engagement and keeping yourself intellectually curious and involved. And I think that that's, you know, I look at my mother who's 92, not to pick on her, but she, you know, was part of a French movie group. She was last yesterday out to go and to a book launch. And it's talking to people and being involved. And I think that's the best defense. And Tally, what about you? Why did you become involved with the event? Uh, I think for me it's just really important uh, in terms of um, the awareness itself. Uh, as I'm getting older, I think uh, exercise has always been a part of my life. And I know that um, for my peers and colleagues, uh, just promoting it and saying, look, you know, we have an opportunity to make a difference as we get older. And then hopefully to be role models for those that are older and younger as well as right. we, you know, age. And now, do you think exercise and, you know, these brain games and, you know, you hear about eating certain foods, do these actually make a difference? It gives us, for sure, it gives us a sense of control. When I hear this, it's, you know, it's hopeful. Mm -hmm. The experts are telling us that, so that as we've been preparing for this, and, you know, we're going to be having to do planks. It's going to be a little bit like summer camp and races <laughs> and things like that. They tell you that if you, for example, brush your teeth with the other hand oh, once neat. in a while, or if you... Just try and do things like in sequence, do number tasks, games, and um, memorize words, and these kinds of things that it just helps you stay alert, keeps the brain active, and helps you fend off the risk factor. So and now is that's that, the evidence. Is that going to be one of the events that you have to do? <laughs> like, tell me a little bit about the different, you know, fun events. Do you have to brush your teeth with your left well, hand? Well, no, but you're, like, if, <laughs> when she's skipping, she's going to be asked questions like, give us vegetables that start with B, or healthy foods that start with B, and then you know, start talking about junk food and just getting oh, your mind to keep mixing alert it up. and things like That's that. That's it, mixing it up a bit and, you know, going frontwards and backwards and, yeah. Now giving I want to do more. What else are they going to be doing? That's hard. Um, I there's going to be a tug of war. Um, there's going to be, you're going to be standing on foot a little like Hillel and you could be asked to, you know, I read some numbers to you and you have to read them back or tell me them, the mm. numbers backwards. So I give you five, six, seven, and you have to come back with seven, six, five. Right. So it's, it's going to be challenging, and um, it's going to be fun, and oh, amusing, fun. and uh, entertaining. And now how can we get people involved? They can either, uh, at this stage, just really buying tickets or going to our website and donating. Okay. And these are two important clinics in Montreal at the Jewish, the Memory Clinic and the Alzheimer Clinic. And they're really leading-edge research that we're doing, mm -hmm. and the people need to support them. Well, good for you for doing this. Thanks Our so pleasure. much, guys. Thank Tally, you. good friend, and Jonathan Goldblum, they're taking part in the Baby Boomers Best Body and Brain event. Brain Yay! and Body event, something like that. It does roll off the tongue. One or the other. Five Thanks. Thanks so much. Uh, stick around. We'll be back with your news, weather, and traffic right after this. <laughs>